Oh, Ryan's Wealth Insurance, how may I help you? Hi, this is the star calligrapher again. We have another claim. And what was the human celebrating this time? Okay, see, here's the thing. He claimed it was Independence Day. Uh-huh. But it was for a country that no longer exists. Okay, so it was just an excuse. Okay, well, technically, he was from part of Earth where that Independence Day was celebrated, and apparently, even though the country has it in and of itself changed, uh, the humans do like setting off explosives, so... Yeah, hold on, let me check the interstellar calendar versus Earth calendar... Oh yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of these today, actually, you just happen to be the first. Okay, wonderful. Um, I will send you the damages. Uh, the friends were back again. Okay, just got those. Yeah, I don't think a single human could do that much damage. And one of the guests was Zayford. We couldn't kick him off. He's literally like space royalty. Your human knows President Zayford? Unfortunately, yes. I don't know how this is my life. Okay, I can get started on- Did you know that when I when I joined the Star Calligrapher, there was no humans on board? None. I mean, I expected some shenanigans just because of the captain being who he is. But there was none, and that was why I joined. And I was quite happy with my life before there was a human on board. Are you okay? And now we have one, and he keeps inviting his friends. And you'd think, oh, they'd be human friends, and so you'd have human shenanigans, but no. Um, Zer, I'm not. I get a collection of the galaxy's most irresponsible leaders. Mm -hmm. And I only have another three months left on my contract, but it is not going quickly enough. I want off this ship. Um, Zer, I'm gonna add therapy to your claim. Okay. And, um, I'm actually gonna contact them now, and then hang up with you, and then they should call you real quick, okay? Okay, thank you. I hope you have a better day.